Oh my God, back at it again. Lord, Lord, everybody. How we doing? How we doing? Had to come back, bring it back on a Thursday night real quick. You know what I mean? How did everybody like those uh, those last two interviews? What up, Dev Danny, Black Pride Nation? What up, nice family, you heard? Yo, how y'all like those interviews last week? Bet y'all wasn't expecting those to go like that. They jumped me. Jumped me and shaved my beard. They took my hair made me look 15 again. Swear to God. Swear happened. <laughs> now, nah, I laid the numbers build up real quick. Let me see what we get. We can see what we get. Bro, yeah, yeah, it looked bad. It looked bad on me. I I don't know. I don't know. Try to say what up to everybody. <laughs> everybody laughing at my face. <laughs> yeah. All right, look, anyway, tonight's guest, right, I really do appreciate them. I really, really do appreciate them because I just reached out randomly, you know, because I had nothing for this week because so much was going on. What's up, man? So much was going on, you know, um... And I really couldn't um, reach out to him. And I, you know, I had been planning to try to get at them, especially when I seen on the Black Party Nation shop, Black Party Nation doing their thing too. Um, and I was like, man, let me get them because I, I seen it, their energy was live, their, their vibe was live, and there was something different. You know how I love to bring different. I don't want to bring the usual. I always want to bring different. So I really appreciate it. They, I talked to them earlier. They, they, they're originally from Georgia. They moved to Jersey. You know what I mean? They have a poly V. I thought that was live. I was like, okay, we could do this. We could touch on this. But before I do any introduction, you know how we run this? I'm going to bring them in, let them introduce themselves so we get this going. Definitely. Trying to get this all together. Let's see. What up, family? How y'all doing? <laughs> what up? Can you hear? I see y'all. Yo, how y'all doing this lovely evening? How y'all doing during this whole COVID thing? We making it. Yeah. We making we it. <laughs> look, I got to adjust this shit. I got a baby face with this one. I Look, not my brightest idea, yo. I swear to God. Like, I don't know. Look, look, look. look. <laughs> So I'm Rico. And I'm Love. Um, and we in a poly V dynamic. That's yeah. live. Yeah. I mean, well, we do the same thing too. How do y'all feel about it? You said, uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Look, I'm gonna start with everything, right? We touch on everything. Okay. So on that. Oh, and everybody too, remember all questions at the end of the at the end of the interview, put it in the box. The box next to the comment thing, and we'll touch on this at the end. Um who who brought the idea for Polly? You know what I mean. Well, for the, us, because I was the, I was the um, the add on. She was the addition. Yeah. So I was initially with somebody else first, and then we added her to the relationship. Then we moved to Jersey for her. She broke up with us, and then we stayed together. And so we're still in Jersey. Yeah. So that's how we've been rocking. Yeah. So now. Damn. She, uh, yeah, yeah. Is correct. <laughs> Damn is correct. <laughs> That's what's up. I mean, hey. Yeah, so we've decided to be Poly V. So love wants to, well, you could tell them. Yeah, so um, in our dynamic, I'm choosing not to date at the moment. Um, I do feel like our last relationship took a lot out of me emotionally, and I know that I'm not ready for another partner, but I don't want to stop her from dating. So if she feels called to see how this connect a connection go with somebody, go for it. But I just know I'm not. I don't want to do that to somebody else, you know? Because I know I'm not ready. So I'd rather work, work on our relationship and focus on my business as my third. <laughs> that's live. No, that, that's fully understandable. So the last relationship was a full triad then, right? Yeah, it was yeah, a close yeah. triad. 
Yeah. If y'all don't mind me asking, because look, I look, I don't know if you see, look, I put the wifey to the test too. I went for everything. We put everything <laughs> on the test. You heard? That's everything. So, so what what happened with the last try? Like what made it so shaky that it ended? Um, she a long, long, long story short, she just wanted something different. Um, she wanted to be solo poly and she wanted to do it immediately. We wasn't against it. We were more so just starting to get in a good place as a triad, as a whole. So we wanted to live in that for a moment, and she was ready to jump on out there in the solo poly world. And, you know, so... It's just no longer online with yeah. what we wanted to do and, like, our goals going forward. So... Yeah, yeah. no, mo most definitely. Yeah, yeah because I think a lot of people don't understand that, like, sometimes with, with, with it... With, they always ask me, right? That's why I had to ask, right? Because they always ask me, okay, well, if one wants to bring someone in or they want to change up the, the dynamic, I always tell them the conversation's open. You know what I mean? But right. that doesn't mean what the reaction of everybody else is going to be. It's going to be, okay, well, they're going to feel that way. You want to do that. You want to open up that way. Well, these things are going to change too. It's all a conversation from perspective from everybody. And right. I always try to preach that. And it's dope that y'all spoke on that a little bit like, shit, hey, we brought the conversation. I wasn't with it in that lane, so we both came to agree until we went our parts. That is deal. And I always yeah. go, yeah, my testament, God damn it. I, I, I put it in my chapters right here. No, no, no. And, uh, <laughs> and I'm always on high energy. I'm sorry. Yeah. But that's not what we believe in, though. It's yeah. like, for us, our thing is conversation are all, conversations are always welcome. And just because we're talking about it doesn't mean we got to go act on it at all. It's conversation. We're trying to understand where we are mentally right now. Like, this yeah. is a thing I've been thinking about for a while. I want to know how you feel about it. Let's mm -hmm. talk about it for a couple of days. And it wasn't that with our last relationship. It was we talked about it for a couple of days. We told her how we felt. And she was like, all right, well, I just want out. I was like, okay, that's valid. That's how you yeah. feel. I can't be I mean, mad at that. I can't. Yeah. So, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> love, peace, and respect. I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean? Exactly. So, exactly. so now, now we in this poly B. You know what I mean? I'm looking for the opportunity for the poly B to happen. Are y'all still? Do y'all got someone in the mix? Y'all looking for somebody? Well, I can't really say. Oh, what? Yeah, yeah, Rico, Rico, you, well, you like, yeah, you know, you just allowing and we're aligning. So if, oh. if it comes along <laughs> and we vibe, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's just with me. Or if, it's, or if it's with both of us, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're open to that. But, you know, it, it just has to align. Like, we're very spiritual. So, like, it has to be written in the stars damn near, you know? Like, not even damn near, like, all the way. Like, yeah. send your birth chart. Like, <laughs> for your birth chart. What for does real. that look like? You want to shoot your shot? Put your birth chart. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, for real. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, well, definitely, well, definitely. The, um, was that before that last try? Was this is this the second basically try you know, of a poly dynamic, or have you done other? You know, a lot of people. Yeah, that, so that was our first time being poly. Like all of us were monogamous before then, and so that was our first like poly experience. So this would be our second. I've dated like one, well, one person. One yeah, person. since then. Yeah. So, and then you tried a time before. Yeah, so that didn't really yeah. work out. So, yeah. Yes, they ain't six that, yo. <laughs> right. yeah. I, I know. Yo, look, me, I'm going to ask this question, too, for me. Is it Are y'all just lesbian or bisexual? What is it? Lesbian. Lesb lesbian? Yo, I love that shit. I love that shit for so many reasons, right? Because I had the, um, the Manny team. You know what I mean? And, and there was it's, it's a triad of lesbians. You know what I mean? Right, some people, I love, I love seeing that shit because... For one, I hate that people always determine triads or just poly anything as a male, female, female, it's male, multiple females. And it's like, yo, it could be anything. And it doesn't even have to be a female or multiple males. It could be all females. It could be all males. It could be whatever. So when I see shit like that, I'm like, man, do your <laughs> fucking thing. So yeah, no, most definitely. Um, How do y'all feel about, how do y'all family feel about when y'all, since y'all been monogamous first, coming into the situation, handling it like this? The funny thing is, that's with my family, uh, with my family, they were more so okay with me being poly and lesbian, but they're not okay with me having my own business. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? 
Run that back. back. My own business. They feel like I'm kind of bummy. And I'm like, I have a whole business. I make pretty good money monthly. Like, like we, we good. We did good. We're, <laughs> well, always. But, but to that, them, it's like, issue. because I don't have a nine to five or answer to someone, I don't make any real money. But it's like, none of the men in my family, none of them have regular nine to fives. Everybody's an entrepreneur. But all the women, they have nine to fives. Every single yeah, one of yeah. them. <laughs> Someone <laughs> asked, what's the business? Hmm? Someone asked, what's the business? Oh, I'm a spiritual advisor. I also um, do planning and I do spiritual work for people. So mm -hmm. I make waste seeds. I help them do their candle magic. Um, I help them work through um, childhood trauma, shadow work, things of that nature. That's what I do. And I transition from having set prices to donation based. I feel like it fits me more and I get more from it energetically as well as money. So yeah, that's what I do. So y'all are spiritual, spiritual. Like y'all really okay. Oh yeah, shit. <laughs> Send me <that> children. <laughs> No, okay. no, no, it's just us. That's just us. That's yeah, us. I want to. She won't let me get one. They're, they're like kids. Shit, you know, I should have got a puppy. I have kids. I was like, is it not? <laughs> 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 nah. Yeah, I don't want to get a puppy. I don't want to get a puppy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, so all this transition, like going now, now going from, cause I know, um, love you were, so you were monogamous before this relationship, correct? Yeah. So going, going back to, um, from going to monogamous to a triad, which is poly, then converting kind of right now, since you're not really looking, just letting things flow organically, kind of more or less into a monogamous situation again, you know, mm -hmm. is that kind of like why you fell into the trap say, I I'm on pause real quick. So I'm just enjoying Rico. No, for me, it's more so I had to question and change why I wanted to be poly. Because in the beginning, it was because I felt like I enjoyed the openness of it. And then once I got into a healthy relationship, it was like, well, why do I want to be poly now? Like, I'm in a healthy relationship. I really, because I've been cheated on so many times before. And it was like, I didn't care about them having another person. It was, why are you lying to me about it? You know, like, why you got to lie? <laughs> And it's like, for me, I believe the more you lie, the more diseases and stuff get into your body. Like, that's a part right, of it. Right. That guilt brings disease. And now I got AIDS. I don't want AIDS. You know, because you want to cheat. Like, I don't want AIDS. <laughs> Why you got to lie? But then I got into a healthy relationship. And I was like, okay, so what is it now? Like, what would be my purpose for wanting to be poly? It's like, I can be open regardless. You know, I felt like I needed to be poly to be open, to know yeah. how to communicate. So I, I think I thank Polly very a lot for opening my eyes to that. Like I can communicate without being Polly. Okay, cool. So let's get rid of that label. I want something that flows. You know, right now I'm not in a flowy space. I'm working on me. But going forward, I just want a flowy relationship. Whatever they want to call it is fine with me. But I know what I'm doing. You know, I just want something that flows and works with where I am and where we are as a couple, as a people. That that is the that, that that's how that's how I, I, I say a lot of it. I was like you know it's not really the cheating that really affects the individual it's the deceit the secrecy you know well you know I, if y'all don't know my story y'all know my story I cheated you know I ain't shit <laughs> but you know it just it was that like everything I had to learn from that transition and what what I caused with the pain and everything and what we had to rebuild off of yeah that, that's mainly the part that that it fucks people up because I was I was living kind of like a double life so you know it just. It fucks with people and it makes you look at them different. So that is true. That's dope. And I love that you said, you know, when you have a good relationship, you're focused there. You know what I mean? You know, and, and that's all really what you need for the mind, body, and soul. Until you're ready to, you know, if y'all want whatever, whatever it's named, you know what I mean? Whatever it's named, you know, Rico, what, what makes you still want to look for another person, another individual? I guess because uh, I'm just I'm just still open to it, you know. After the last relationship, I didn't want to close myself off, you know. what I'm saying to somebody else coming along, like I just want to be open to the idea in general, you know. what I'm saying so if somebody aligns and they fit, and you know the dynamic works, and you know even if it does stay a V, I would like it to be kitchen table, you yes. know, Polly, 
you know, if, if we all align and it works out, you know, we all get along, like, I, I'm definitely still open to it. Like, I don't see why not. Yeah. Yeah. No, it is possible, especially with y'all's energy. Like, every time I watch y'all, you have a good energy. My, I, I have a poly V kitchen table. We all we all live in the same house. We all, you know, it, it is really that. A lot of people got to realize it is organic. And it's, it, it goes past the sex. It's how we get along. We bond and mesh in our goals for each other. So that is everything. You know, um, what challenges do you think you'll be from the triad situation that you won't be seeing in the V? You know, do you think it'll be more balanced to, to you at peace? You know what I mean? And all that. I definitely think it'll be more at peace. One, because we learned so much about communication and not taking things personal from our last relationship. Even though um, we didn't really take much personal, we found it hard to understand why our, part why our partner did. But because of that, um, we learned how to ask the right question. You know, and then actually listening without responding, because because we're fixers. We like if you say you have a problem, we're going to give you a solution. Mm -hmm. We're going to keep talking to you about solutions. But sometimes that's not what people need. Sometimes they really just need you to sit and listen. And that was kind of yeah. hard. Yeah. I don't know if it was hard for you or not, yeah. but I, for me it was. <laughs> it was definitely hard for me to just sit back and, and listen and just watch her go through a lot of the it things. Hurts. Yeah, because it hurt. Because I didn't want to see her go through that. It was like I, I have an answer. Like I have I have a solution. Like just try this thing, you know. And it was like you know it was a constant battle. So I think the only issue would be somebody if they're not working on themselves, you know what I'm saying, going forward. Like, that's not going to work for me. Like, I have to be aligned with somebody that's at least willing to work through and heal their traumas because that's what we all about. Like, that's literally have become our favorite pastime. Now. Yes. Like, no, we, talk, morning, we wake up in the morning sleep. and go to sleep talking about traumas <laughs> and working through and shadows working through and it. working and healing and like, oh, shit, having epiphanies and just like, damn. That stems from childhood, yeah. like, and my mama, <laughs> my brother did that, and he said, you know, and we just talk, and we <laughs> literally enjoy that shit, like, that has become our favorite pastime, like, that's what we do all day, every day. All day. Yeah. That, that, that is dope, though, I mean, but that is, like, one of the key points with it, you know what I mean, is to really have that communication, try to touch on everything, so we have that closure. The more better you have things that close you, the more easier it is. It's understood. Then it becomes a thing of what what's not said is still understood. It's like, yo, shit, we got each other. And that that is live. Really, it is dope on that connection. Did did learning that that you you guys had to kind of touch on that come from the previous relationship? Realizing that that, that yes. definitely, oh, yes. definitely. I feel like I I tell people like I feel like we got a whole psychology degree in that relationship. Yeah. <laughs> because no, like, <laughs> like yeah it, it was a lot and like you know people don't understand like having multiple partners it's not just one person like one mirror looking at you it's like That's multiple mirrors looking at you so you got all this shit that you need to work on and multiple people saying the same, same shit, shit that you like, need to work on <laughs> like I really need to take a step back and look at myself and work on this shit for real. Cause like this person said it, that person said it, and that person said it. It gotta like, be me. It, all y'all do, and y'all saying y'all ain't talking about. It. I know y'all talking shit. Like I didn't talk to them today. Nope. For real, you didn't. Damn. So both of y'all feel this way. Right. I'm about all right. Like, I need to work. I need to work on this shit. Yeah, that, that, that's facts. I mean, I, I think a lot of people don't realize that because that, that really where a lot of these stem from, you know what I mean? It's more because the issue don't be right there, there and then. It'd be like, yo, let's really talk about it because you need some healing, you know what I mean? Because you're <laughs> pain on me. You're throwing your pain on me like I did something. I'm really just trying to help you and you're shutting down on me. And it does become a lot of times where you're like, man, fuck, you know what I mean? Because we, re we reached a lot of those moments. That's kind of how our situation ended up from being a triad into a B. You know, because was those certain ways that we had to handle certain things and it kind of pushed because that shit pushes people away. You know what I mean? It pushes, especially when I'm here trying to help you, heal you, and you're just here still trying to attack me like I'm being your enemy. That shit, yo, that is live. That is live. So it you hurts. guys... It hurts. <laughs> <laughs> and that's one of my pet peeves and that also it my my our last relationship helped me work on that because that's my pet peeve i don't like being accused don't accuse me you can ask me questions all day but you tell me that i'm doing something that i'm not doing baby we better argue <laughs> <laughs> that's the only thing that argue about being accused and i don't like that you don't argue about nothing else but if i accuse her of some shit she will argue me to death that's how i know she really didn't do it <laughs> she really did do it <laughs> 
from <laughs> it comes from my childhood because in the black family, if one person did it, everybody's getting a whooping. I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm, no, I'm not. <laughs> That's not what we're not doing. Not no, we don't no. get it. Right. Hey, so um, I'm asked. Look, I like to ask an all random questions just to touch on everything because I know a lot of people. I have monogamous followers. I have all types of followers that that, that follow. They always try to get with all types of questions. So being being um all lesbian, why sit there and being a poly V? I I already kind of know the answer, you know what I mean. But I just want, of course, the you you guys answer yourselves, you know, and, and the touch on it. But why? Because they will sit there and say, okay, so they're good. if you bring in another woman, you know what I mean? Why wouldn't all y'all be connecting? Why leave it in a V? Well, for me, it's it's really how I handle breakups, whether polyamorous or monogamous. When I break up with someone or someone breaks up with me. I take time to figure out what happened in that relationship and how to not do that shit again. <laughs> so normally I take three to six months, but after the six months, I started realizing what it was that I needed to work on. It's like, okay, I'm gonna take another three months and work on those things and we'll see, you know? So for me, that's why. And I know how I operate in relationships, especially with new people. I get closed off. So I'm already closed off on initial meeting. And now on top of that, I'm working on myself. So I don't want them to take that personal. And I am not in a space to want to explain myself. in a Because yeah. I do feel like if I'm dating you, I owe you an explanation. That's me. <laughs> but I'm not in that space to do that. I'm going to get irritated. And she already knows what's going on. So it's like, <laughs> I don't have to explain myself to her. She can explain to her partner what's going on with me. That's fine. But I don't want to. I'm not yeah. Dating. <laughs> but that's how I handle breakups. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, that, that's people. You got to get in tune back with yourself, and you know, I mean, like that. So I get that. I get that salute. How how are you gonna feel, love, knowing that um, now the kind of the, the 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 table has changed. You're 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 gonna be the individual that's there while Rico's bringing in somebody else in to build and develop with. What are your thoughts on that? It excites me. So when she was dating, when she was. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't yeah. told her this. <laughs> I, know, I know it's gonna be something crazy. She always be surprising me. With crazy no, because it's, it's so cute to me to watch her flirt and be all like all cutesy and dovey with somebody. I'm like, look at her. It was so cute. I enjoy it. Oh, I love it. It's so cute to me because she gets like her little cheeks get all. <laughs> <laughs> and she be all laughing and giggling, and I'm just like, oh, look at my baby. And I just be staring at her. <laughs> I enjoy it. I don't. Now, my thing is, now let me switch it. My thing is when I feel like they don't deserve her time, that's when I have to take a step back because I get all like, you need to leave them alone because they don't deserve you. Like, they're not even, mm -mm. nope. <laughs> yeah, she's very protective of me in that sense. Like, if she feel the energy, like, if something ain't right with somebody, she's like, mm -mm, something ain't right with them. You need to ask like, them more questions. You need to ask them more questions, right. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's live. That's live. Yeah. That's live. Because uh, I, I never, I never I really talk, talk to someone in that position. You know, I mean, I always speak about um the person coming in, they're going to know the couple as the couple. You know, and it's kind of like converting. So you're going to see it from a whole different perspective now, seeing that situation. So I just always wanted to know how that, because we also learning Rico in the sense, even though you've seen Rico with another individual, now you're just seeing the development stages, but shit, you're being supportive and that's live. It's so yeah. different, like watching your partner from, because our, our beginning was a little rocky. And I told her, like, my thing is, I don't want our next person to go through what I went through. Like, I didn't find out a lot of information until, like, what, six or seven months in already. And mm -hmm. I was like, for me, I don't like that. I'm a Virgo. I like to know up front what, what I'm getting myself into so I can make an educated decision. And that was my thing for her. It's like, I need them to know where we are. So if you want to explain it, I feel like that's for you to do. If they have questions for me, I'm open to it. So I try to let it be known that I'm okay with it. So when they want to talk, let's talk. If they don't want to talk, baby, you go have your space. And if I'm in a mood that day, you go have your space. Like I, how I feel doesn't affect what you do with your partner, how you connect with somebody, because that's, that's for me to work out. But it's so different watching her be in a space where she can actually talk and feel safe and be with someone wholeheartedly without worrying about how I feel. But she's so caring. I know she's going to worry about me anyway. That's why I told her, you go do you. Go have fun. No, no. You have fun. I'm going to work on it. And you know when you get home, we can talk about it. 
But right now, you on the phone with your partner, so you talk to your partner, and I will be here. I live with you. I'm gonna be here. <laughs> like that is you know, live. Yeah. That is dope. That is dope. I love that y'all's communication is there and the support for each other is actually there. That that is really cool. And everybody that you've been talking to, Rico, they kind of know the situation. They open up to the idea that to be in a poly be. A lot of people always wonder. They always think you know. It's always got to be overall, it, when it comes to triads, it got to be a close triad. Everybody involved, everybody, you know, sexually, romantically, all that. So the partners that you are actually talking to, the potentials, or I hate to call them unicorns. I don't know how y'all feel about that shit. I don't I like unicorns either. I don't like their <laughs> terms. If they, they, they want to identify as If they identify as that, then I will call you a unicorn. But yeah, no, I, I respect oh, it. I, 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 hate it. I hate it myself, but so when yeah. you're talking to them and they're laying it down, you know, um, because most have the expectation it's going to be with both or couples on all that. You know, are they open up to the idea to, to begin as a V and see where things go from that point? Definitely the, the potential that I had, she was definitely open to the idea of the V. She, she was a little confused about how open we were, like, as far as communication. Like, that was her only thing. She was weirded out about how open we were, like, that we literally talk about everything. Like, she's literally my best friend. Like, <laughs> like, any, any, yeah. anything. like literally, I'm going to talk to her about it first, you know what I'm saying? And we're going to talk through it and work through it or whatever, you know? And so she was kind of weirded out because, you know, she had another, <clears throat> she had another partner and, you know, their communication style wasn't necessarily like that. So it was yeah. kind of a weird concept for her to even grasp, like, how open we actually were. Yeah, you know, she was and, always asking if I was yeah, okay. Yeah, she was always asking if she was okay. And I'm like, oh, literally, she's okay. Like, do you want to <laughs> talk to her? And she's going to tell you that she's perfectly fine. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, that was the only thing about it. Like, people are just weird about how open, you know, like, even our friends, you know, they're kind of weird. Like, we're the unicorns of our friend circles <laughs> and shit. Like, everybody brings new people around. Like, you have to you have to meet these people. Like, you have to meet them. <laughs> like, and we be weirded out by that. Like, it's just, we just talk. We just quick. talk. We're just open. You know what I'm saying? And we communicate. It, we actually work through things. You know, we're not just talking shit. Like, this is what we do for real. All day. <laughs> I think it messes people up, right? Because um, that's how that's how we are. We're very open, so we goofballs. We we do a lot of we just we just there. You know what I mean? We can play with each other on another level, and people be like, "Yo, you said what to them?" I be fucking right. I mean, shit. <laughs> they know I don't mean no harm, no nothing, or whatever. But they, you know, they know me. You know what I mean? And it's cool. It, it's great when you have a connection like that with somebody, and it's dope. You know, actually, with the beginning, I actually speak like that, and to know that you're so open, love to speak to the men more, like. I, well, I don't know what you call them middle more since it's the beginning still, since you're courting, basically. But, you know, like, the other potentials <laughs> or whatever coming in, because that's, that, that's cool, because it has to be that way. So there is no ill feelings. There was no secrecy or anything like that. You know, um, from the last relationship, did you feel there was a lot, a, a lot of competition, a lot of, like, you know, um, secrecy, like, ill feelings, jealousy? It was, yeah, a lot of that. But I didn't understand where it was coming from. <laughs> and... Um, I do feel like she felt like I was supposed to ask her more questions like that. She, we did have ended up talking about it eventually, but she felt like I was supposed to ask more questions. And I was like, I felt like I did. I asked, did you want it? I feel like it's enough questions at, at the time. I felt like it was enough questions. Like I asked you, did you want it? And you said, yes. So and she initiated and she, the, she the initiated. Relationship. Yeah. So I didn't know, honestly, I didn't know what questions to ask. Because it's like, we talked about it. We talked about polyamory. You were open to it. That's all I needed to know at the time. But then it come to find out, like, it was a lot more to what she felt. I don't want to pull out all her information, but it's just a lot more to what she felt and a lot of sneaking that she felt like on our half. But that part I didn't understand. Cause, yeah. 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 No, the reason I'm asking, right, because you don't even realize, like, I didn't know that. I didn't know none of that, right? And uh, this is what I deal with with a lot, a lot, a lot of um, triads. I talk to a lot of people, and it's exactly what you're explaining. I never actually just spoke to someone. It's so open to actually talk about it, too. And they deal with, um, you know, the, 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 the person that was initially there, the competition, the secrecy, the ill feelings, you know what I mean? And then the person yeah. coming in comes wholeheartedly, wholehearted, you know what I mean? Trying to give this situation, but there's still that that it's I don't amazing. know what's in their head like that, you know, that you're like, nah, we ain't here, but but still be wanting the love to where they lose themselves to reflect that I'm supposed to be also your girlfriend. 
we we're sharing the same person, but you got to realize, you know, we agreed to that, but I'm so also in a relationship with you. And then yeah. that tarnishes that the relationship because all of a sudden you done became my competition or you became like, you know, like you done built me to be an enemy. <laughs> and then now it, it, it gets twisted. I deal with so, um, so much with that, you know, so it's, it's kind of dope to hear it from your perspective to know that y'all did it the same way as y'all were going through the same thing. You know what I mean? Because it is a lot of things that I, I believe the same thing that you guys said. It's a lot of things that they have to deal with eternally. Like, you know, you, it's deeper than that because we came in with an understanding. But yeah. even with that understanding, you done twisted it and now I'm your enemy. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even let me know I was the enemy. You could have told me. We could have worked that out. <laughs> like, <laughs> But at this point, right, you know, it's just all that transition and you learned from that relationship going through that those challenges as a triad, right? And then now that y'all had to how long have y'all been just you guys? Um just a year, August, right? Yeah. yeah. Not so even a year yet. Almost it's, it's still gonna be a couple months couple been. Months. So a few months. Do you feel do you feel um shoot, my bad, I got a message. Um do you feel do you feel um y'all kind of needed this? Like, you know, this unification, like this moment, I actually pause for a little bit to actually get more of a foundation, more step. I always tell people, yes. before you bring somebody else in, the stability of your foundation is going to be the main thing. The main thing that's going to make sure if you're adding people, whatever, is there for you. Because how you handle your main relationship is how you're going to handle others coming in. Because what you do for the main one, you're going to do for, well, both of them are going to be main. A three, anybody, they're all going to be main. But how you handle your shit, you're going to handle your shit. You might stumble a little bit at the beginning, but you'll get, the, you'll get, your, you'll get your little rocking going for a minute. But do you believe y'all needed that to sustain the uh, understanding more better before you brought somebody else in? Definitely. Yes, definitely. Like, like I said, when when we went through that relationship, we literally damn near got a psychology degree, and we created like a whole class. no legit. We created a whole class. Like we took every scenario that we went through, and we took these tools and we applied it to every single scenario. And now we have an entire course that we teach people and we coach one on one about communication, like effective communication. We working through the shadows, you know. Yeah. And so, like, we definitely needed that time to incubate and just be with us and to heal and to work through all of those things and work through all of those traumas, you know, and actually, like, really, really heal the wounds, yes. you know, and it it was definitely through communication and shadow work. Like, I cannot stress it enough. Like, that that's all it was. Like, literally just, okay, I'm going to bear my soul you're going to bear your soul. We're going to work through this together. You know? The epiphany that we had was a little bit before we moved up here. Um, our triad was still in Georgia, and it was like, um, it was something about being empty. Like, you get into relationships, and you just empty so much of yourself into that person that you become the shell of a person. <clears throat> but it was like, it looked at as a negative. And I was like, what happens if you do? empty yourself out not for another person but simply for yourself and then fill yourself back up with the things that you want and we was like wait that actually might work so we tried it and we started there and that's honestly shadow work like emptying yourself out of all of the things that you've accumulated over the years and talking about it and it doesn't happen overnight but you have to start no. somewhere. Right. and it's just that simple so that's what we did so literally all the time, like the entire relationship, that's what we did. And for our partner, she didn't understand. Like she thought that we were just one, talking about her and two, not spending any time with her. But she wanted to be included in the conversation. So we talk about it around her, but she didn't understand what we were doing. We didn't fully understand what we was doing. We was just healing. Like we got tired mm -hmm. of all this stuff i'll need somebody to talk about it with you're here i might as well <laughs> like you're here all the time <laughs> yeah we just started, yeah we just started talking. I, 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 yeah and i fully agree with y'all like you know what i mean i'm doing that that that's one thing i, I always try to do like because i really i really talk i'm a big talker i don't really watch the tube i don't watch tv i don't do all that i love to talk i love to discuss i love to learn i love to just 
educate ourselves, you know what I mean? Especially take notice of anything that our problems are going on. So we kind of know, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, it's exactly how y'all said this. It's not going to happen overnight. But consistency with the conversation and discussing everything, keeping it out there open, it's going, to be, it's going to be a benefit. It's going to help the relationship. So I think that's kind of cool that you actually took the initiative while y'all were together as a triad to yeah, actually convert yeah. over and still do it, still do it till this day. You know what I mean? How do people reach to you if y'all do the communicating with the coach, com com coaching the communication and all that and the shadowing? Right, Can right they just now, hit you on your DM? Huh? Yes. Right now, yes. That's yeah. a, But we just got another computer, so we're thinking about Zoom. trying to do Zoom classes yeah. soon, doing the same, because a lot of people ask the same questions, but it's easier to, honestly, it's easier to do your shadow work in a group setting because you have yeah. both people to to talk through scenarios with it's like damn i went through that too that's what that is you know i know that energy that sounds familiar you know so it's easier in that setting um so yeah since we got the new laptop we're trying to cultivate actual zoom classes for mm -hmm. now yeah. I think that I yo I think that's a lot. Y'all gotta keep me updated on that information because I I love to try to you know pass that information always and promote that information because I I always explain like that is very important and key and I think in all polyamory relationships from everyone I discuss with we all have kind of similar issues you know not typically all the way the same but still those same what similar issues because we're all it's multiple relationships. You know, and handling that shit, it does get stressful. Communication suddenly happens. Handling multiple personalities, it gets difficult to try to juggle them all. You know, it's, it's kind of a way we have to learn how to conversate with people. They're not always going to be the same. One person might not react. I, I deal with one that shuts down, right? She'll shut down. So I had to, like, learn how to work that. You know what I mean? And the other one, man, I'm talking about... <laughs> when we head button, we just it's instantly we yell and we going back and forth, you know, but yeah. it's not that bad no more. But it was actually to really learn each other and actually push through those things. So I do man, give me that information so I can make sure because that is something I think the community does need. So I think that's a lot that y'all doing that. I'm glad y'all took a moment to actually learn that too, you know what I mean, through everything. Yeah. You know, it, it's all that. Y'all still keep communication with your last partner? No. No, no. that it ended ugly. Yeah. Oh Lord Jesus! Uh, well, you know we ain't gotta we we do not have to touch on that. We go ahead and move oh. forward on that and everything. Yeah. With the poly, <laughs> oh, what you say? Rico? <laughs> I said just know it was a hot mess. We made it through it and we're moving forward. <laughs> yeah, that's what the, the the dope part about it, right? Is that y'all talked about it at the end. They right. made their choice, and you, you know it is what it is. I think what's crazy, um. Because a lot of people think, oh, well, that you know, the other two just run off with each other, whatever, and all that. It's dope that I know we're still going to live the same lifestyle, you know, um, and still open to it. But we're so deep open to it, we're going to do it in a different way and see where it goes. I think that's the most fucking craziest part. Like, yeah. <laughs> that's so live with it and everything, you know. Eventually, going through the trial. If it doesn't ever turn into a triad, are you guys okay with it? Leaving it as a V, as long as it's organic? As long as it works. Yeah, if it works and it happens organically, like I'm definitely open to a triad again, um, but I'm also open to a V, definitely. And for me, it's just all about functionality. Like as long as the energies mesh, as long as the relationship can flow in and out of energy what up, to table? communicate, then that's all I care about. If we can still communicate, then it, call it what you want. <laughs> like, as long as we can still talk about stuff. I think that's so dope, you know what I mean? Because, like, again, because I'm from a monogamous mind, right? From a monogamous mind, my, fuck it, a monogamous male mind. You know, I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck? It's all, it, 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 you know, y'all, I'm lesbians. We should everybody be, you know, shit. But it's so dope to, to in a sense that this is what polyamory is. This is what it is. We could vibe how we need a vibe. We don't have to meet each other romantically. We don't. It's how we organically move with each other as a unit and a family, and our love could bond. It could be platonic. It could be platonic. It could be romantic. Whatever it is, it's necessary. We call it whatever the fuck it is, and we do what we want to do. But it's still it's a relationship. That's that is so fucking cool. That is that is amazing. Y'all plan to have kids? Anything like that? Yes, I want a whole farm. I'm a country girl. Yeah. I want you a whole. Farm. You want to wait? What? Hold on. Wait. What? <laughs> yeah so the goal is to have kids have everything you know what yeah. I mean? so you're trying to find someone that is family oriented then 
Yes, definitely. But most well, of the people that you are interested in, they are family oriented yeah. big time. Yeah, definitely. The one person that I dated, she didn't have kids. So yeah. Yeah. Is yeah. it just and, and you're just open looking to just a V no more than that be a closed V, basically? Yeah, pretty much, especially just to start out with, because like I said, the energy, the energy got to got to got a vibe and they have to be working on themselves because it's like we're, we're gonna know like we're very with that spiritual like she'll have a dream about it you know what i'm saying like she'll have feelings about it she'll have visions about it i don't have a vision she said, about it. Like, I'll give it like, like, she, she was having dreams about everything that was going on with her and her partner you know and everything we weren't so really talking dreams. about it but i would say certain things and she'd be like how you know that i'm like bro i'm telling you like the girl <laughs> like we're very spiritual like we know like if you're not working on it we're gonna know regardless mm -hmm. so it ain't gonna work it ain't gonna work if you're disturbing the peace like here like it ain't gonna work it's so right. it gotta be somebody that's at least willing to talk about it. that's why she's so big on communication because like if we could talk about it like we could work through it but if you don't even want to talk about it, like, it's not going to work. And for me, so, it's not even that. It's not the feeling of it that bothers me. It's the fact that you don't want to talk about it. Like, clearly, somebody in the spirit realm wants you to work on this trauma. Can we please just have a discussion or tell them to leave me alone? <laughs> like, what is yeah. it? I mean, it's, it, it, you got to, it's better to resolve the issues and be open with it. How long did it take you to meet the metamorphs, though, when she's dating? Do you, you have to do some instantly, or do you take a minute to actually bring them around? With, with with the potential, what was it like a month? We yeah, it was about organic. a month. Yeah, yeah it just kind of happened about tattoos, and then y'all yeah. started vibing. Yeah, then we was on Facetime, and then I was like, you know, hey, say say hey to my girl, you know, and then that's how that it happened. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. Like, I'm not the type to sugarcoat shit or like hide anything. Like if it's happening organically, like this is what's happening. She really don't like, sugarcoat don't shit. Sugar that's that's usually my problem with people. Like she I don't be, sugarcoat nothing. She be so <laughs> so so hard. So time. blunt, very blunt. Yeah. But I'd rather you know than not know. Like I need you to know who I am. Like so that way you can make an informed decision. <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm saying? So I'm not yeah. even play with you. I'm not even gonna hold you. Like, nah. <laughs> like, you gonna have, know. You gonna know who I am. <laughs> have, you ever, have you ever brought somebody in? Have you ever brought anybody in, right, that, you know, um, instantly, like, did not get along with love or, like, you know, just felt, you know, nah, I don't want to meet her. I don't want to be around her. Anything like that? That's a good question, Lisa. That is a good question. <laughs> um... I don't know, cause the second potential, she, it was like an energy thing. I don't know. It was it was unspoken, spoken energy. It was like she didn't she didn't want to be kind of involved, but she did. She did. She was like, curious, it, it, but she didn't know it. Did. Right. And so we just wait. We just wait. Never talk about it. <laughs> it was that, run now, run that back. Break yeah. that down to me. She wanted a what? Yeah. yeah. It was like she was interested, but then she didn't want to talk about it. Like. It, it, yeah, so it was like she kind of ran away, but then she came back, but then she ran away again. I don't know. It's weird. She, I don't know what she got going on. <laughs> but she didn't want. She didn't want nothing to do with love. Like, and she just, but she did, and then. Right, right. Because they was they was talking like they was cool at first, but then she she started running away, and then she kept communicating with me, and then she ran away again, and then she reached back out to me, and then she left again. So I don't know. I don't know what she got going on. <laughs> to be honest, I really. But don't you know. keep that communication to, to with love, though. At least if, if any understanding that yeah. comes, like if someone wants to, so they understand that at the end of the day, this is this is what we saw. This is my nest. This is my core right here. So either you respect it, take it, you know what I mean, or skedaddle. Like, she gonna be here regardless, like she said. Like this is I call her like we call each other our forever person. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like this is who's gonna be here forever. Like. I just, I just know, like when you know, you know, and I just know she's gonna be with me, you know. Right. So whoever else comes along, like they have to understand that she's gonna be <laughs> with me. So it's just the balance of what it's gonna be, you know what I mean? Do you feel these are gonna be a little bit more easier knowing? Cause I don't know, I, I like not to be in all the way in, in your business, especially with the last person. Do you feel like the balance you have right now with love is more better than? to begin a poly relationship with like you know restart one with, with a poly relationship with love than it was with um your last partner oh definitely absolutely yes like this i i say that this relationship was easy because like i said all we do is communicate so it was easy for me to let my guard down it was easy for me to be vulnerable it was easy for me to talk about the traumas it was easy for me to heal and work through them with her you know 
So that that's why I say it was it was easy, you know. And so like going forward, is it, I wanted to I wanted to flow. Like I wanted to to be a flow. I don't necessarily say that it's going to be easy, but it at least needs to not disturb this piece, you know, this at home. that we got going on right now. <laughs> yes. The, the reason I added to the, the harmony that we got, you know. No, they don't have outside relationships. Uh, well, um, Rico does. Someone asked, do they have outside relationships? Yeah, I'm the only one open to dating right now. No, only one. But I was <laughs> call it. I asked that right because um, that's what I go back to. Um, just knowing who you're dealing with at the end of the day, because because I see that a lot of the challenges came from your previous partner, who was the first one there, and you know, you connected more with with love a little bit because you were meeting each other on a whole different level. But not that you weren't, because a lot of people be like, ah, oh, nah, it was, it was, you know, probably some foul shit going on. But now, from what y'all are saying, I, I, yeah, trust, and I know that's fact, because I, <laughs> yeah. man, right. yeah. So you know what I mean? You know, you try that involvement, but sometimes that person does shut themselves out so much, and you know, at the end of the day, it does become a challenge. And right. yeah, people get left behind because we're still trying to grow. Either you grow with us, or we grow apart. You know what I mean? And I think people tend to forget that shit. You know, and that's so that's last why I asked that question because um I think people need to hear that before you go into your next poly or before you enter a poly relationship or enter your next poly relationship, grow with your partner first. Right. Make sure you shut those things down and actually have that communication skill up with each other because y'all want to have that understanding. Because again, what's not said is still understood, and mm -hmm. people you live by that. To me, I believe in these relationships you live by that because you're dealing with multiple people. So now I got to hit you all the time for it to be understood that I'm rocking with you. Not when I'm mad at you or mad at this person. I just need my time alone. I don't love you. I, I still love you. I just need that balance, that shit understood. So it takes a lot of that. So when you have that initial first partner, I love that your unity is so dope like that. I love that you spoke on that shit like, yo, the last one's not calling her a bad person or anything like that. You know what I mean? She cool, whatever. But it wasn't on that equal ground we weren't mentally equal at that moment and i think people really need to understand that shit right. that shit yo y'all need to start a youtube channel look <laughs> like no because look man y'all the first look, ones right finally podcast okay you're like the fourth person that said we should start a youtube channel but we finally got a podcast so that's yeah. what we're working on now and then we go, we go venture out. Yeah, we'll venture out to YouTube in, in a little while. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, someone asked, uh, they said, I love y'all. Don't feel the need to form poly or just exist, exist in it. Uh, so it says, big facts, grow with us or apart. Someone asked, are either you bi? No. No. <laughs> No, we like that's we can, the, we can have conversations. <laughs> yeah. like, you know. Yo, and I, that's the, that's the, I keep telling y'all, you know what I mean? Like, I love that shit, like, to me, lesbians, gays, you know, they're the best representation of polyamory, you know, because when people tell me, you know, I mean, well, they could all do the same thing to each other, you know, the monogamous relationship, I know, I mean, we all ain't stupid. I mean, <laughs> they're okay. calling me. Your name is calling me. <laughs> but yeah, I'm like, oh, shit, I was about to drop some knowledge real quick. But no, uh, because at the end of the day, it's that. Once you understand, we know what each, each other could do to each other, but it's not about the fucking sex. It's not about what goes on the bed. It's where I'm meeting you mentally. It's where I'm meeting you spiritually. Can you actually give into my life? Fill my fucking cup. Like you said, Phil, we're going to fill each other. Let's blossom. And that's yeah. what's so good. So when I see relationships like this, that's the dopest part. You know what I mean? Because... Shit, that's that's pure love. That's pure energy. That's that vibe, baby. What we doing? You know what I mean? So I really do yeah, love that shit. So I do really hope y'all do actually step forward on that shit and do a podcast. You know, something like that. Because I love how deep y'all's communication is. Because I can tell y'all talk about everything. Because y'all are acting like how we do. Like, you know, we, yeah, we, we, yo, we be on shit just like that. And, it's just, and, and that's the importance of everything within these relationships. Yeah. Oh, y'all freezing on me. I'm talking to her about it, and I be like, I wish we had secrets sometimes. We have something to talk about. But we got enough to talk about already. We always discovering something about each other. Right. No secrets at all. Even we try to keep secrets. Yo, I, I don't need to be... I don't need... Yeah, I don't even think the secrets are necessary. I don't even think... I think, I think the secrets are for what? You know what I mean? I think right. it's exactly just to keep learning with each other. I think the opportunity to actually like how how um 
how you guys see things and how y'all observe things, I think y'all are very, to break down every scenario in anybody's life or just in your own life, you can actually help others out there in the community. So I really say, man, do that. You really got to do that. You know, send me the information. Oh, so are oh, they been together for, you want to break that down? Someone asked, how long have y'all been together? So just the two of us has been a year, but all together in the triad, um, two years. No, definitely. Um, I only got 10 minutes left. So I, I'll, <laughs> and then you write the question. You know what? I can't go back. Okay. My phone yeah. froze and I was like, oh, shit. But um, yeah, no, um. <laughs> I want you guys to do that, man. Keep me informed. I do love y'all's energy. And let me know how that goes. You know what I mean? Y'all coming to the Black Poly Nation Fest? Uh, what is it? I don't know. Did they reschedule it? I think they rescheduled it. In know. July. July 31st. July. If things go accordingly, actually, we might be up in there. But we got some. Because we're, we're trying to do van lifers right now. So that's where all our money is going. Yeah. Into renovating a van or a bus. So... Yeah, that's yeah. where our funds are tied up at. The what? But I'm nosy. First of all, I'm nosy and I ask a lot of bullshit questions. I'm just okay, I love questions. Hey, I tell people that all the time. I love questions. Ask me questions. I love talk. I'm right. from the South. I like how van life. All I see was the mystery van from Scooby Doo. I was like, "What?" <laughs> so what they do is they take vans, they take buses, and they turn them into like RV campers. You know, so that's what we're gonna do. Yeah. We're gonna get into like an RV camper, so that way we can travel, and also we're gonna flip them so that way other people can you know have RV campers, especially black people. You know, that's the new wave. You know. RV living, tiny house living, you know, stuff like that. So that's what we're venturing out into. She handy as hell. And yeah, I, I used to work on houses and stuff. So I got literally every tool that we need to do whatever it is that we need to do on a bus or a van to renovate it. So, yeah. That's, that's what right. I love. Yeah. I love that y'all taking the opportunity to go into business and everything for yourselves and actually establish. I really hope I really hope y'all do become um, community coaches. I mean, I'm... Uh, Fucking um, goddamn! <laughs> <laughs> look, look, the goddamn fucking yeah, okay, we're gonna be working on it. But um, I, I have to become coaches for this shit, like coaches in the community for that shit to communicate, communicate coaches. Goddamn, it's tongue twisting. Yes. Yes. No, because I think a lot of people that could really help a lot of people, and I really love that y'all met just peace on that because I tell people all the time you got to be transparent. You know what I mean? You know, there's so many key elements in communicating at the end of the day. People think just talking and talking and talking. And, and you know, that's going to get you somewhere. You still got to pay attention to body language. You still got to look how people react. There's so many levels to that shit. And I love how much y'all touched on that shit to teach that shit. I love that y'all are so open. Even though y'all were trying to really, you know, respect her business. But I, I love it because there's a lot of people in the community that deal with that, those same issues. You know what I mean? Because there's so much going on. And it's just how love said, I'm here genuinely. I'm here wholeheartedly for the relationship. Little did I know the whole time you're still seeing me as a whole motherfucking enemy. And I'm just trying to do my best. So eventually that is going to tarnish the relationship. And it's dope that it converted and y'all were able to discuss and build a heavy bond. You know what I mean? And still open to turn around and do a poly V. Yeah, the DM's open. I got to ask yeah. that question. Baby, huh? The DM. <laughs> Pause. What'd you say? I think the DM's open. Yes. yes. The DMs yeah. are open. The DMs are we do open. have a podcast. We're working on a YouTube channel, but you can reach us um, at our Editors in the Virgo. Yeah. And that's on Spotify, too. So Editors in the Virgo Radio. Yeah. That's what it's called. Right, but it's yeah, on our page. Send me all page. that info so I could post in there but you know how to get at y'all. I really appreciate y'all because I was so short notice. I was like, man, let me just go ahead because I need, you know, just to do a show tonight. You know, I have regret I did. I look like a fucking... You look like a whole... <laughs> but it's okay. It's all good. It's all good. We young. Oh, yeah. Hey, we just talked about we don't need to lie. Y'all niggas is lying. <laughs> 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 we doing that shit. I look horrible. <laughs> no, but I, I greatly appreciate it. You know what I mean? I hope y'all do make it to the uh, Black Poly Fest. 
in July. I hope to see y'all in person. Send me all the information. I really do hope y'all go down that journey because I would love to send people to y'all to show them how to really communicate. I love y'all's vibe. I love y'all's energy. Thank you so much, family. Thank you. Thank you. This Thank is amazing. You for reaching out. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Like we, we had a great time with you. You know what I'm saying? We vibe, we laugh, <laughs> we kicked it. Like yeah. <laughs> For yeah. real, yeah. no, like we're, kids make our way to one of the poly fest. Right, or go to Houston or something. Y'all in Houston, yeah. right? We're in Houston. Texas. That's where it is, Houston. Mm -hmm. yeah. In Dallas. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. in Dallas. She got a friend in Dallas, so you know. everybody I want to see is in Texas. Yeah. So we coming friends. eventually. We're just gonna let yeah. you know. <laughs> right. Hey, most, I got I got a lot of business to do out over in New York. So you know, I got family all there in New York too. So you gonna see. Right it. across the bridge, we enjoy. I know. Time. You better catch it. We gonna be over the Hudson. <laughs> <laughs> but much love, Fanny. You have an easy night. You All too. Right, you too. All right, thanks so much. All right. How do you end it?